Welcome to Brooklyn Arts and Science Elementary School. I'm Sandra Soto. I'm the founding principal. Marie Montessori once said, free the child's potential and you transform him into the world. We believe that children learn best by being actively engaged and following their own lines of inquiry. So we are in the process right now of pursuing the International Baccalaureate. It's an inquiry-based approach to instruction. And the desired outcome is that we graduate students who are globally minded, um, are caring citizens who care for one another and care for the planet. I think we have one of the most amazing staffs of any school in the city. There are people who have a sense of wanting to continue to learn for themselves, and that inspires continued learning in our students as well. Um, many of them have their own talents outside the classroom, and it adds to the culture and the richness of what children are able to experience here in school. A number of them volunteer their lunch times um, to run clubs such as dance, cheerleading, yoga, um, arts and crafts. I actually run the chorus with another teacher. We have a dance teacher, a full-time music teacher, and art teacher on staff. Sometimes you learn who a child is best not through the academic work that they do, but through some of those other cultural and enrichment types of activities, and you get a sense of who the child is as a whole person. So one of the things that our community enjoys here at Brooklyn Arts and Science Elementary School is this beautiful garden. Through a partnership with the National Gardening Association and the Today Show, we now enjoy this beautiful garden that our children actually have planted and they're learning to harvest it, and they're learning the connection between the food that they grow and their own healthy eating habits. So it's just beautiful just to come out. It's peaceful. It's another way that we get to expose our children to something that they might not get regular access to on a day-to-day -day basis living in New York City, but they do get to come out, enjoy the, the earth, enjoy some fresh air, and sometimes enjoy some healthy food that comes from the garden. Having four children of my own, I've come to discover that each child has their own unique set of gifts, talents, and abilities. And I believe it's our role as the adults in their lives to help them discover just what those talents and gifts are.